Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Paulio Jr. And uh, this may be my last video before 1-1-2019. Uh, one, one, so uh, this is a video I've wanted to make for a while. And it all has to do with this. <laughs> this is a 10-ounce uh, fine silver .99. Um, it's a well it's 10 troy ounces of silver and I wanted to just let people know why I personally uh, really do like silver as an investment just in general more and more importantly to uh, diversify uh, even more with your investments so and instead of just uh, messing around with stocks and uh, and, and ETFs and IRAs and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, precious metals are, uh, are are a fantastic investment, and they're not going anywhere. So I'm I'm going to do my best to keep this as simple as possible. Uh, that's what <laughs> that's what I'm I'm relatively good at. So uh, what you can see on the screen right now is a 20 year, uh, basically a 20 year history of how much uh, silver has been an ounce. So, and I'm just going to go into a couple of reasons of why I like silver as um, as an investment in general. So, the biggest thing um, I first really learned uh, about investing in the silver in 2006. Well, silver and gold in 2006, and at that time, um, silver was definitely under ten dollars and gold was around six hundred dollars and you can see from this chart it's a I mean it's obviously tightened up here you know for a 20 year um, for a 20 year graph but um, I started buying silver in 2006 right, right around yeah right around here and then um, when the stock market crashed and we had our recession uh, and all the you know all the housing market collapse and so forth uh, silver steadily uh, started to increase a lot so um, what silver is silver is a hedge against inflation that's the biggest thing it, that it is it's a hedge against inflation which means that um, however Typically, however, the main um, currency of the world uh, is doing. So if it's doing poorly, uh, the majority of the time, if not 99% of the time, that uh, precious, you will see a surge uh, of precious metal prices going up. So, and that's what happened in, uh, it was around 2011, um, was when it really went it went to 4858 which is unheard of uh, so the last time it did that was in the 80s and then as you can see it obviously dipped down and dipped down and dipped down but I really have never seen um, and, and that went the same for a lot of precious metals too but what's really nice about silver is that um, you can hold it obviously you can just hold it forever if you have a you know if you have a physical piece of silver so um, the, the best thing about silver is it's a very inexpensive um, it's a very inexpensive investment so the average person so if I'm just looking the, there's a website called Kitco and we'll look currently as of um, December 30th 2018 that the um, which, that the bidding price for gold is one thousand two hundred eighty dollars and forty cents, which is a lot for an ounce. And the average person isn't going to shell out that much money for an ounce. Of course, you can buy uh, half ounces and tenth ounces and so forth. But um, I really do see silver, which right now is. Um, is still relatively inexpensive at a fifteen thirty five uh, an ounce that you can you know you can definitely manage that even if it was just buying an ounce a week so 
you can buy you can buy silver at um, any local coins, any local coin shop. Uh, you can buy it actually on Kitco.com. You can buy it. There's a lot of. Uh, you can buy it on eBay. You can buy it on APMEX.com. So this is what I would call like the average person's um, the average person's precious metal because the average person isn't really going to go after gold like they would with silver. And so uh, the best thing about precious metals in general, about silver and precious metals in general, is that they are a universal currency. So this, this silver bar that I have, this 10 ounce bar that I have of silver, I can go anywhere in the world and convert this to whatever currency uh, you know, whatever country I am, I can convert it to um, to that currency with this uh, ten ounces ten ounces of silver. So wh whatever that amount would come to. So that's another huge benefit of um, of having uh, at least physical silver. So there are um, they do have what's called pool accounts and investment accounts for um, for silver. Um, I would, I personally like just having the physical silver because if something does happen, you can actually just grab that silver and go right to a, um, you can go right to a coin shop and sell it to them for whatever the, um, whatever, the, whatever the lower price is. So the, they would, um, they would typically buy it at the, the bidding price and not the asking price. So, um, and then the one thing that I've been reading a lot about the past couple of years about silver in general is that uh, it's been it's being used and has been used in so many elect in everyday electronics, whether it be your cell phone, uh, any kind of computer device, anything that requires um, electronics in general. Uh, I will, the the majority of the majority of that time, silver is being used in that. Um, in that process. Now, it might not be a significant amount of silver in that individual device, but obviously if you're selling millions and millions and millions of these devices and so forth, uh, uh, silver mines are going to become, uh, you know, rather hard. To, the silver uh, in general is just going to be hard to come across. So, uh, it is extremely possible that you see silver um, within I would say within the next <laughs> like 10 to 15 years um, get as high as gold is um, if not even surpass gold so that's why I think it is um, I, I don't think it's a bad idea to buy at least an ounce a week uh, of silver so instead of just putting everything into your savings account Instead of just buying stocks, like I said, you know, IRAs and ETFs and all that fun stuff, um, there's nothing wrong with having actual physical silver. So you can, um, there's two kinds of silver. They call the one's called numismatic, which means it has an actual dollar amount on it that you can actually use at any, um, you know, at any store. And it might say a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars, when in fact the actual silver itself is worth more. Than, um, than what the numismatic is. So this bar that I'm holding is what we call bullion. So this is just straight silver. So I can't bring this to a store and say, hey, can I, that would be nice. That's how it, it used to work a long time ago. But, um, you know, I, as of today, I could not bring this to a store and say, I want X, Y, and Z, and now I'm going to give you this. That's not how it would work. <laughs> I would probably do it, but um, a lot of people get into um, a lot of people start freaking out um, and about precious metals in general uh, once they start to see uh, you know the the dollar collapsing um, or you know a lot of a lot of inflation and so forth or if the, or if the stocks are doing horrible so. But that actually, I mean, that is a time when silver will go up. Uh, that doesn't mean that people need to panic and so forth. It just means that your investment is doing um, is doing a lot better than it could have, uh, you know, before all of this started to happen. So if you were to start to see 
um, for instance, silver right here um, hitting. Uh, if this were to hit close to thirty dollars, that's when you would be. <laughs> that's when you would probably have to make a decision on what you would actually want to do um, with your other investments. So uh, that that's typically an indication of how um, just how the overall uh, general monetary system is doing uh, all together. So, um, yeah, this was, <laughs> I just, I, I've been doing this since 2006, uh, thanks to somebody extremely close to me, um, you know, mentioning to mention this to me a while ago. And, uh, there's a gentleman by the name of Peter Schiff now, who I think is extremely intelligent, um, but definitely has kind of a, sometimes can have a, a, a doomsday mindset about uh, precious metals and about the US government and that kind of stuff so uh, especially with the US government in China anyway um, his whole thing was and I think this is the same with with stocks as well is that you know he's he really believes that silver uh, is really undervalued and he's just and he basically just says I'm just gonna keep purchasing more you know that's great for me because down the line it's going to come in handy and it is inevitable if history does repeat itself that you will see at one point in time as you you know as you're continuing to go along investing and in, like I said just buying an ounce a, a week or whatever it is you know whatever you, you can afford um, you know whether it is physical silver or whether it is actually um, you know, silver accounts and kitco.com is a is an account that is a website in which you can actually have uh, virtual silver and they uh, and actually all the other precious metals and they they actually do pay out um, as you know as well as the what would happen is um, you would this is what you would sell it for um, and or I'm sorry. Yeah. So let's just say you did have an account. This is what you would actually be able to sell it for, even if. But the asking price is fifteen forty-five. So um, this is what they would. This is what they would actually give you. They wouldn't give you the fifteen forty-five. You would pay fifteen forty-five, and they would give you fifteen thirty-five. And the same goes for um, the same goes for gold. Uh, and any other precious metal. So, um, but the biggest thing is that um, if you do decide to add uh, silver to your, um, you know, to diversify in your investment, um, is to make sure that you don't actually. Um, for instance, uh, fifteen dollars and thirty-five cents an ounce is what uh, the bidding price is. So I personally would never pay over a dollar, a uh, dollar an ounce for silver, and um, in general. So even if it went to thirty dollars, I probably I wouldn't pay over a dollar or two an ounce. So uh, there are sometimes you can find decent deals on eBay. They're hard to find. Um, usually, it's just when people are um, putting it, selling it on eBay, and they're not really sure what it, is, what exactly it is. So, what you always want to look for when purchasing silver is to make sure that it actually does say uh, "fine silver uh, 0.99." So, and then it'll say um, ounce, it'll say troy ounces instead of just regular ounces. So, um, this is yeah, 10 troy ounces. So, which is, you know. We'll just say fifteen dollars. So this this piece of silver is worth you know roughly over um, you know well over one hundred and fifty dollars. And um, but I think this is a great this this is a great uh, diversification uh, in anybody's uh, portfolio. So and like I mentioned, um, 
you, the silver is used in a lot of stuff and it does not get recycled. <laughs> not, not all of it at least because a lot of it is too small to actually get recycled. So you can actually, um, a lot of it just gets, a lot of it just, just gets thrown away and then that's it. So, and then, <laughs> yes, you, of course you can keep, uh, mining silver. Um, but if you continue to mine, to mine silver and you don't recycle it and people are just, you know, holding on to, you know, people are throwing away, you know, their cell phones or whatever the case may be, you know, any kind of electronic, most electronics have, uh, have silver, have some kind of silver in it. You would actually see silver um, jump up, uh, regardless of how uh, the dollar is doing and so forth. You you can actually see silver within. Uh, I, I think I said at least at the at the earliest would be ten years, but I would say probably closer to fifteen to twenty years. You could see silver jumping up to as close as gold um, per ounce. And then go ahead and, and sell it or keep it, you know, or just give it to your kids or whatnot, you know, depending on uh, on how you're doing, you know, financially. So, but um, yeah, I'm a, I am a huge advocate of purchasing silver. I like that you actually have, um, you know, that it's it's actually you know an an inanimate object that I can hold it in my hands, you know, so it's not just looking at um, you know, not just looking at numbers, you know, in, in your accounts and so forth, because that's all it is. It's not, um, obviously the dollar is a back by anything. I don't want to get into, um, you know, this, this lecture about the federal reserve and so forth. But, um, my suggestion, uh, for anybody that can actually afford it is to, at the very least, um, check out your local coin, uh, shop and purchase um, you know if you can uh, at least uh, one ounce of one ounce of silver a week one and it's always a troy ounce of silver which i think is like a little bit over 30 i think it's like 31 or 32 um what you call uh grams so it's not it's not 28 grams a troy ounce is like 32 uh, grams or something like that but that's probably your best bet. That's like when you go to a coin shop, they give you the closest. Um, if you see that that bid, though they typically give you the, um, they'll sell it to you for closer to the bid than a lot of online places will, unless you buy a crap load of it. So, but if you just want to just slowly um, expand your portfolio then I would check out some local coin shops or even just look at, um, you know, take, take a peek at eBay. And like I said, make sure that it, you can see a picture of it or that at least the description says, um, this is 0 0.99, this is 0 0.999 fine silver and that it is a Troy ounce. So, um, but that's all I got. I just wanted to, um, <laughs> like I said, I just really, uh, wanted to mention that, um, having silver um, as part of your uh, investment investment portfolio uh, is huge and you it's not this immediate um, you know you're not going to make money overnight doing this but it is nice to hold on to and it's nice to actually have something that you can hold in your in your hands so and like having that that universal capability of um, of being able to to use it and sell it is a fantastic option and the silver is a fantastic option uh, for the average person so uh, thank you very much for watching <laughs> so um, like I said check out uh, your local coin um, your local coin shop and uh, check out kitco.com they have a lot they actually do have some uh, uh, Sometimes uh, they do have decent deals. Uh, APMEX.com actually has, um, I don't want to make this video any longer than it is, but typically they actually sell, um, they will actually sell bullion under this deal section here. And 
So obviously they're not brand new. They could be scuffed up or something like that. But it doesn't mean that they lose. Um, it's still it's still an ounce of silver. So right here, for, if you're purchasing online, if you're purchasing silver online, uh, you can actually get to get out of here. Um, you know, 1745 buying it online is not terrible uh, for it being over fifteen dollars an ounce. But uh, check out uh, definitely check out APMAX.com and look at and look at their deals and see what uh, see what they're offering. But I would say maybe go over you know two dollars uh, you know two dollars two dollars over an ounce uh, maybe three at the very top. Um, at the very top, um, if you're purchasing it online, and if you're purchasing it, it at a coin shop, and they're trying to go past one or two dollars an ounce, excuse me, then I would just walk right out. But that's just my opinion. So, um, thank you guys very much for watching, and maybe I can squeeze out another video before the new year. And that's all I have for today. So definitely do your own research um, about silver. So I think it's an excellent. Uh, I think it's an extremely wise uh, decision to add it to your um, to your portfolio because if anything were to happen um, with the U.S. dollar in general or just the world market itself, you would actually you would see um, silver prices and precious metal prices, you know, skyrocketing. So, and then once you see it hitting a certain point, uh, you could actually make a pretty penny, but you're would probably have to hold on to it for a little bit, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely inevitable when it would happen. I have no idea. So it just happened, you know, back, you know, between 2008 and 2011. So which wasn't that long ago. So um, you could actually end up seeing it again. And that is all I have for today. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if I do not make another video, uh, happy New Year. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel and getting me, um, I'm basically almost at 3,000 uh, subscribers by the time I upload this video. So that's awesome to reach that landmark by, um, you know, basically the, um, you know, in the last two days of 2018. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you again. And thank you for the support. And make sure you check out poliojr.net and check out some of the merchandise and all that fun stuff and uh, let me know what, let me know what you think so I do read the comments from time to time so but um, yeah that's all okay.